Two days ago, Bruno Dev A5, who is the developer of WinLater, released the version 9.0. And this time, he also added a new graphics driver, the so-called Vortec one. It's an experimental one, and I've seen a lot of threads people trying this with the latest Dimensity chips with Mali, and of course, also some people like me with Snapdragon 8 Lite. Now, this thing here is the Xiaomi 15, and until now, I wasn't really able to get a lot done with wind lanta and not only uh, because just turning drivers don't really work but now with the vortex guys i was finally able to run something i wanted to run the gda5 didn't really work but at least the game boots and it just loads the story and then crashes but i want to show you what i was able to run indeed this was the mafia 2 and i also want to do a short test with you but before i start i just want to show you some of the settings all right so i've created this container i'm using the screen size 1280 by 816 by uh, 10. This here is the new Vortex. It's universal, so of course there are no other versions. For example, if you click here on the turnip on the Adreno, you are able to choose several versions. Those are the options. 2430 is the latest one, but since I'm using the Vortex universal, nothing there. I'm also using the DX Rapper DX VK also the version 172 they're more recent but i was not able to show and run the game with it then when i go here guys to the wine configuration the gpu is the standard one is the geforce gdx 480 with four gigabytes of memory and when i go to advanced guys i am using a performance profile with the preset where i'm using here the settings for the processor and also the startup selection is the essential one windows version is mapped to eight this is my performance profile i do use zero here on the first value where they have the safe flex and also this option is enabled so now if i go back to my containers i'm just going to start the win later 9.0 and then show you what i'm able to do but before i do so i want to start up something that i was not even able to get to when i click the start menu and i go here to test the direct 3d i wasn't actually able to get any of this and now look at this guys i'm able to start this we have vortex here it is the adreno 830 and this already was really looking very promising now for this test what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start and run the game from scratch all right so that you can just see how much time it takes to load and etc for this game i do believe that you need direct uh, x9 and also nvidia physics and this is it guys, like this is the first game that I was able to start with win later, 9-0 with Vortec on the Xiaomi 15 with the Snapdragon 8 Lit and with the Adreno 830 and of course on the intro I'm getting some crazy FPS. Now this version works, I'm gonna play for like 5, 10, 15 minutes, uh, we're gonna measure some temps and see how the phone is going to behave. Let's try to see the baseline starting temp, 32 Celsius, alright, let me just take up the mouse. I'm gonna do a double click here, all right? So now let me go to settings, guys. I'm gonna go to video so that we are able to check all the settings. I'm using the optimal quality, all right? This is the lowest one. And if I click here, I have like medium one, uh, high one. And then I have the optimal one. The resolution is the one you see, is the one set also by WinLater. Here, this is set to on, this is like the full screen. This is the vertical sync. This here is, I think, the brightness. So pretty much everything is set to on, guys. So I will now go back and I'll try to just continue my game. So this is the history. I'm going to continue my story and you can see we are starting really with a crazy frame rate. By the way, the touch control works. All right, now this is so good, guys. This feels so good. Now, if I toggle the full screen, it's gonna look like this. Let's just do it. And what I can also do, I can go to the input controllers and select the Virtuum gamepad. All right, and now what I'm gonna try to do is just stop a car. Let's see. All right. 75 FPS, isn't that beautiful? All right. All right, let's just try to see a fancy. Oh, this is a fancy car. Okay, no, no, no. I'm definitely taking this car. Uh, let's see what is the right button. No, 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 no. Okay. This now is my car, man. Sorry. This is a marvelous car. I just had to take it. Oh my God. All right. Let's start driving. All right. Now, while I'm driving, guys, you can see that the FPS isn't ideal. But hey, this is really experimental. And Snapdragon 8 is almost like, what, two months? 
We have so many phones with it right now, and yep, I'm able to play a game with it, and it's pretty playable, by the way. And I didn't really fine-tune anything, so I guess with a bit more of a fine-tuning, you most probably can even get more. But honestly, well, oh yeah, and I'm dead. Honestly, what I see right now is just so impressive. So really, kudos to Bruno Death 85 for releasing this new experimental graphics driver, the Vortex One. Right, the police is here. I just got fine. I need to pay the fine. What can I do? Yeah, not ideal. I'm just gonna take my next cabrio here. Yeah, the old one anyway crashed. <laughs> No, 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 oh, oh, this guy, oh, no, all right, yeah, 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 okay, and now I got fine again, and now I got in jail, I mean, I got arrested, yeah, things like this happen when you play a game that is called Mafia, all right, a second try, please give me your car, gentlemen, I'm from the police, I need your car, no, I'm not from the police, of course, I'm joking, no, he's gonna start attacking me most probably. All right. That's a fat ass car. All right, let's just see what happens now. By the way, you can see, you can switch also the camera. All right, now let's just do a nice drive and let's hope that everything's gonna be really smooth. No, I don't wanna go in the opposite direction because I know what happens. Okay. Can change the camera. 40 FPS, absolutely playable, and this is adorable. And guys, I am not on a mission here, I'm just trying to drive in the open world and just test what I'm gonna get. And yep, sometimes some stutters like the 2 FPS, oop, alright. Well, that happened, somebody, I guess somebody almost like jinxed it. No, now it's rock stable again. Alright. Impressive, right? We can play PC games now on Adelaide. And there were some previous versions, some alpha versions, I never got hold of them and I even don't know what really the story was behind them, but this thing here, the Windlader 9.0 with the Vortec Experimental Driver, oh and now! It's official guys, so you can see I'm able to play it. And you know what guys, let me just show you something else. I wanna show you what I'm able to do with GTA 5. Still no lie, I tried so many configurations. The game clearly loads, which is just crazy, right? And that's good. But once I load the story, it just force quits. And I have some other people commenting on my community post. The same happens with them as well. It's just a pity, guys, because I do believe that most probably with the Snapdragon 8 LED, this game is going to be pretty much playable. It is already pretty much playable with AJ321. I'm not sure, like, don't really play that much emulation specifically like win those games emulated on android phone but it's impressive to see what bruno was able to do only two months after the snapdragon 8 lit was released and by the way there are some people with mali and with mtk they also are able to run some games that they were never able to run before so let me know what you think down below in the comments guys i'm gonna put the official link to the github repository try win later with vortec yeah and why not have some fun with android phones thanks so much for watching bsd over and bye